I've been traveling and working um, at airports in hotel rooms for I would say close to the five years probably six it's going on six years now and time has flown by so fast that I feel like I'm still learning the process of working on the go it's our pleasure to welcome you to Seattle Tacoma where local time is 10.07 One of my favorite things to do is to see what the hotel looks like when I open the doors and check in. Nice and warm. Since I usually don't book my own hotels, it's always a surprise to me. So it's kind of a game I play with myself where I try to, <laughs> I try to figure out the best setup for myself. Knock, knock. Of course, you're gonna see the bathroom first. And I have not taken my shoes off yet because I got excited to like try to hunt for food and all I found were Pop-Tarts, thanks to Heather. <laughs> so I'm not starving to death, but now I'm ultra hyper. See that? Pop-Tart. So here's my workstation for the next four days, I think. Luckily for me, I don't really have any comics to work on, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna have commissions this weekend. This is my minimalist backpack gear. This is all I bring to shows, like my external drive cords, small, well, Wacom tablet, and a couple small sketchbooks, nothing fancy, and my laptop. So I'm going to be setting this up. And hopefully I'll get to do a few demos this week. So, I was told that we have a view of the water, and, oh, here we go. Uh, pretty sure you could see it during the day, but it's nice to see the buildings, though. Look at that pretty, pretty light. I miss you, Seattle. I didn't have time to film on the first day of Emerald City Comic Con, so here's a quick look around. Having alone time during a convention is like an oxymoron. So um, I actually look forward to finding the perfect spot in the in the hotel lobby and actually just doing my commissions or catching up on any kind of sketching or work I have to do. Just, uh, you know, the first night I do that to get my momentum going and instead of um, kind of just dropping the ball, I, I have to feel like that is the most important thing for me so I don't end up with anxiety and just the need to rush when I'm working on stuff. I am going to be inking and coloring the poison ivy that I drew the previous night. There are certain things I try to do before I start um, commissions at a convention. Um, because I'm looking at anywhere between 8 to 10 hours of drawing, signing, and just kind of mingling. Um, so it varies. I try to do some sketching ahead of time if possible. I would have to say that this is one of the harder parts, and that is, you know, to get going, get started, and for your art to look the way you want it to as soon as you start drawing, because when you're at home or at your office, um, you're kind of responsible solely for your distractions, but when you're at a show, um, random conversations start, and, you know, you're helping people out, so you never know when you have to stop drawing, you have to put your pencil down and pay attention to who's in front of you. So. Um, I'm trying to get better at kind of mentally um, switching from, you know, being talkative and present and then also zoning out as soon as I, you know, have the chance to so that my art looks the way I want it to and I could draw just as fast as I would and I'm more productive like when I'm at home. And Supposed to be poison ivy whenever I finish. Oh, you should do a sakura petal style one time. Oh, that would be a good idea, actually. Yeah. It'd be a poison ivy like 
from yeah, something less uh, poison ivy-ish. I'm using the Prismacolor uh, brush tip markers to outline some of it and the much smaller lines I'm using the Copic multi-liners and they're all multiple colors like sepia tone, green and reds. These pens and markers are much easier to travel with than brushes and dipping inks which I normally don't use unless I'm at home. I think there's one thing that going to conventions is always going to have above just kind of communicating on social media only and that is the face-to-face -face interaction with people that enjoy your work that have supported you for some of them many many years like a decade or so even before I started drawing comic books and so um, I feel like I need to it's an obligation to say thank you by showing up and just kind of um, you know showing the appreciation that I have for all their support. I used to take on so much work um, when I'm traveling that I, re I rarely got a chance to enjoy myself. But I find that nowadays I schedule things just enough to where I'm constantly doing something, but I also leave myself enough time to enjoy dinners, having drinks, and just chatting with my friends and, and professional colleagues and so on and so forth. Because, you know, that's really the only time I get to see them and hang out with them. There are a lot of upsides um, to drawing comic books and being able to travel for work. However, there is a lot of grinding that goes along with it and um, late nights, you know, long hours. And that's just kind of part of, the, part of the job. And we're still very fortunate to be able to do that. If you enjoy what you do, uh, I'm just going to paraphrase this quote. If you enjoy what you do, then you haven't really worked a day in your life. I think that's how it goes. I actually had the chance to work with uh, Frank and Heather on a small little project I'm working on right now so you could see parts of this um, in the works right now so I'm actually excited to get that going. Show is over. Show's over. Show's over. One of the most amazing things I got to do this time around, since I don't live in Seattle anymore, was actually being able to see my family for a few days and uh, tasting my mom's cooking and just that warmth I get when I go back home. Camera's rolling, but you don't have to talk yet if you don't want to, so. Do I have to sit still or can I move? You can move back and forth.